What is up bras and welcome back and in this video we're going to be covering some of the really awesome details that are hidden with inside of the brand new map villa and this update. If you guys find any easter eggs or hidden stuff that are not located in this video be sure to comment it down below as well as reddit also has a big mega thread of different Easter eggs so you can feel free to post it over there also. So this first one is going to be essentially a torture cage chamber room and there's going to be a little secret rotation that you can do which is really cool especially early on since this map is brand new a lot of people aren't going to know about this rotate hole so you could probably throw a bunch of people off guard. This is definitely going to be a good way to spook some people especially playing as Kavera. It's kind of a trippy room there's like handcuffs on the chair you got like a feeding tray and even a gas canister. I'm pretty sure that's not where that's supposed to go. But anyways, what do you guys think about this one? Let's move on to our second one. Now this second one is gonna be another torture room that's gonna be located in the basement on the other side of by where the offices are. Now this wall right here is breakable and it connects these two rooms and if you walk to the end you see that we have another chair and the handcuffs are going to be located on the feet section so definitely somebody was trapped inside of this chair as well as you also have a spotlight directly overhead and you guys can see that there's not any handcuffs on any of the other chairs. There's also this kind of like weird ominous painting. But anyways, not sure what the deeper meaning behind these ones are. Let's move on to our third Easter egg. Five seconds to go. Now for our third Easter egg, we're going to be going over to the ruin spawn. And this one's going to be literally right next to you when you spawn up on the south side of the map villa. You're going to notice that there's going to be a well. And if you walk over to it, sometimes they'll make a sound effect just by you walking by it. Or you can just start shooting the crap out of it like you see me doing here. But yeah, do you guys think this is a hint at a future DLC or maybe just a throwback for the past one? Alright you guys, now running from the well that we were just at to make those zombie noises, we're going to run up on the south side of the map and if you enter from the first floor you can vault in and you can see that we're inside of this little art studio where they work on sculptures. Now I'm going to walk to the end to kind of show you guys where exactly we are. To the left of us is the staircase as well as another entrance on their right. Now if you go over to this sculpting table, you can see that there's a head as well as a solid block. Well what we're going to do is break open the block and that is going to unveil to us a hidden Tachanka sculpture and you can see that he's pretty damn buff man. They definitely worked in all the details and got it spot on. This, I mean I'm sure he doesn't look any other way without his shirt right? Anyways 10 for 10 on the scoreboard of easter eggs. This is definitely a really well hidden one. Now let's move on to the next easter egg. All right, now this is going to be just a really quick one and you're going to see that if you go through the games room into the hunting vault where I'm pretty sure this isn't a hunting tool, but I guess if you're sledge then it can be. You're going to see you have all these really cool weapons up on the wall and you got kind of like this platinum sledgehammer, definitely the best weapon of all of them. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to wield this one even playing as sledge, but who knows, maybe I'm missing something and you can figure it out. Alright, now this next one is going to be another little map detail and we got the 16th president of the United States joining us in Abraham Lincoln. He got his very own portrait and there's a lot of artwork on the walls so pretty easy to miss this one but pretty cool that they decided to incorporate him. Alright, so the next hidden portrait that's very easy to pass by is going to be Galileo. 
Now he also got kind of like his own astronomy room which is pretty cool. He's probably mostly well known for being the Italian astronomer that he was but he was also into physics, engineering, natural philosophy, and mathematics but I'm not going to give you guys a history lesson but this is definitely a really cool one. It definitely looks like a study room that he would be proud of. Good job Ubisoft. Now this next one, I'm really curious to get the Coconut Bra family's opinion on. I'm sending you guys on a mission to figure this one out. Now this one is a duplicate portrait of Gothic Kylo Ren, but I'm trying to figure out this meaning of this black ribbon underneath of it. If you guys have any ideas, definitely leave it down below. I really want to get your guys' opinion. Maybe we'll figure out what the significance of this one could be. I definitely think that there's more to it than just that. All right, now this next one is gonna be a second birthday cake to celebrate yet again Ubisoft Montreal's 20th birthday. This cake is also located on tower and once you smack it and blow out the candles, you're gonna see that there's actually a barcode that says made in Montreal on the silver platter underneath of the cake. Really cool details. I'll really be curious to see if they incorporate another cake in the next map. All right, now I've heard that there's multiple locations where these little hidden bird nests are at. But anyways, if you guys go down to the garden area, right directly to the left of the spawn on the east side, you can actually get an ACOG site. And once you zoom in on this tree right here, you can see that there's actually a nest with an egg inside of it. Now, yes, I have heard that there's many of them around. This is the only one that I was able to see, but let me know if you know of any more. Now, starting back at the ruin spawn, going from that zombie well, there's actually something that's hidden on the southwest side on the outside of these walls. You're not actually gonna be able to see it from ground level though. Luckily, we got this like badass Assassin's Creed tower up here and once you get all the way up to the top, you can either shoot it out, it's going to take a lot of ammo, I was sledged the first time I did this, or you can just go an operator like Ash and you can blow out the door to the mausoleum and from here you can actually see a tombstone and it has the word Vinci Guerra on it and that is the name of the family that actually owns this villa. So really cool and if you guys look around the map there's actually the words Vinci Guerra on a few different things. Alright, so the next one, we're going to be on the west side of the map and we're going to be over here in the stable yard. Now from here, there's actually going to be a hidden statue that's located inside of the hay. Now the only way you're going to be able to see this is with a drone and you can just jump your drone straight up here and if you go underneath of the crate, you can see that there is a hidden like skeleton statue head that is only visible to drones underneath of these crates in this spot. So pretty interesting. They definitely have some really well hidden ones located on this map. All right, so this next one, we are gonna be hearing a cat meowing from the inside of this container. I tried to set it free, I couldn't figure it out. Maybe you guys can. For our next one, we got another room that was designated to something special. For this one, it was a callback to Ubisoft's Ruse, which was a multiplayer focused real time strategy game that was set in World War II with Ubisoft handling the publishing. It was released in 2010 and it was launched on Steam, but also PS3 and Xbox 360. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like it's ever going to be making a return and that is because it has expired military licenses. Alright, so for our next one, this is probably the most widely recognized and known one so far since the TTS has been out and this is the Assassin's Creed Insignia emblem located in the fountain and this is directly in the fountain spawn very difficult to miss and it's a very very clear copy of the Assassin's Creed emblem.
for the next one we're gonna be climbing up the tower that we shot out the mausoleum door in order to uncover the tombstone and this one here we're gonna be listening in for once we shoot out this cart that would normally hold hay inside of Assassin's Creed we're gonna hear the very clear eagle dive sound effect from the game All right, now that last one took place on the south side of the building, but this next one, we're gonna be going to the north side over to where this tower looks like, where you can normally do an eagle dive off of in Assassin's Creed. If you guys look out over to the town, you can actually zoom in and see what looks like Ezio hanging on the top of one of the perches on one of the towers that you could climb up inside of Assassin's Creed. Now Ezio was the Assassin's Creed character that was set in the second edition of the game that was set during the Renaissance in Italy during the 15th and early 16th century. So we can just assume that that one is Ezio. But anyways, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this first Easter egg video. If I'm able to find a bunch more, then of course, I'll be doing a part two along with a bunch of other Parabellum Easter eggs. This one revolved mostly around the map Villa. If you guys happen to find any more, be sure to leave them down below. Let me know what your guys' favorite one is. And of course, I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Peace.